I separate the mouth, okay, again, light, half-tone shadow, okay. Usually the whole upper lip is in shadow, but what has me intrigued about this photo, the upper lip, is how you could see, actually, and like I said, remember reds are always darker, but look at that green, look at that cooler flesh color in her upper lip, which I kind of like, so I'm going to mm -hmm. do something a little different to get that. Um, so, what I have mixed here, lower lip color. And again, it's just a redder version of the flesh tone, a little cad red, a little more um, rose matter, something along those lines. That's the lower lip you see? Mm -hmm. Now, off to the side, I just have this little slight green mixture of the yellow ochre in the um, cerulean because I'm going to do this wet into wet and I just want to get that little cool, that greenish color in there because I like it. In my shadow color, okay, it's the ochre cerulean, but this time I added some alizarin because I want to get a little bit darker, so I'm going something along those lines. Okay, but a simplified version of this, basically we're going for this and that. Two values to start with. Now, the one trick about doing lips is that we want them to be soft edged. <coughs> so, with very clean water, Right. Make sure the wood is very clean. We're going to wet the entire mouth going outside the edges. And I'm going to go around a few parts of this highlight at the brightest point. And I'm going to keep those hard edged for now. If I want to soften them later, I'll soften them. So I'm going around that highlight on the lower lip. Okay. So we're just wetting the entire mouth, upper and lower lip, clean water. We're going to start with our light, the lower lip color. Right in the middle, upper and lower lip. But I'm really working the lower lip first. I'm starting with the lower lip because I want the lower lip to be softer edged than the upper lip. See, and I want this to blend right in with the flesh for now. Especially here on the sides. This is the softest edge of the mouth. The lower lip. Okay. You know, and just a little sign note, when I'm mixing color, you know, whatever you're taking, just look for the lightest color. That's what you want to start with. Okay, now I'm going to slowly work up into the upper lip. Okay, because now it's starting to dry a little bit, so I'm going to get a slightly harder edge. Now I'm going to tint in a little bit of this color. What is it? It's the ochre and cerulean. I just okay. see that little green. No. I just want to get a little bit of that warmth in that upper lip. Okay, I'm going to let that soak in a little more. Just wait a little bit. Back to the upper lip. Okay, I'm going to kind of work it as it dries. Now, that's the same bottom the lip same color, lip. right? Okay. You know, actually, I had an upper lip color mix, but. Mm -hmm. They're basically the same. Mm. <laughs> when I actually looked at them side by side. Mm. Okay. 
that just bled a little too much into my light. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a brush. I'm just going to come back and pull that back out. Dark. It's a little too wet. A little too wet in a couple minutes. Clean up a little bit of this while we're waiting. In fact, I think I'm going to dry it and put that on wet under dry. Upper lip. Yes. Go back to the local color of the lip. And Dry it. But I always treat the upper and lower lip as a whole. Okay, in this case I had to stop and go back to the upper lip by itself. Last thing I'm going to do is a separation of the upper and lower lip. The separation. Back to that warm red. Probably black, cat red. I'm gonna put a shot of a lizard in it. Now, don't do just a consistent line separating the upper and lower lip. You gotta bear it. You gotta break it up. Okay. And you have accents. You have accents in the corner of the mouth. You can soften. Okay. I'm gonna go to a slightly lighter line. And 
when you have on Katie, we have that dark accent in the middle. You know, on my wife, because she has this part that protrudes out, she has two art, you know, dark accents on the side. So look for those little dark accents. Okay, and just really get those. Okay, and then it goes back to a soft, lighter line. Comes back down to the corner, and there's a dark accent again. On that demo that from last year over there, it has very little dry brush in it. So I have an old watercolor sitting here that has a lot of dry brush in it. So I'm going to pull that out so you guys can see kind of where we're going to go. Okay, so that's about all we want to do for the on the mouth for now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this shadow color where it's still there, even though everything's going to get much darker. And there's a slight little cast shadow from our upper lip onto the lower lip. I'm just going to get that in. Alright, so that's about all we're going to do for now. So. I'd like for us all to get the mouth in. Very simple. Okay. Um, and I'm going back to my local color. Okay. And at this point, since you're starting to darken the flesh, you've got to decide, well, is my flesh tone okay? Do I need to make it cooler? Do I need to make it redder? Do I need to make it more yellow? You know, when you think in terms of color, you always just, you know, think of those three colors. Do I need more yellow? Do I need more red? Do I need more blue? So, yeah. The thing that's going to be different is that we're going to pick up a lot more of these subtle lights, okay? Like over in here, this value here is going to end up being this. So we're going to be darkening things at the same time in the lights. Still, we're a far cry from the finished value, so we're still at least one to two values lighter than what we want at the end. be going over your shadow in your light. Make sure everything is bone dry. Okay, and the trick to doing this is that you never leave a dry edge behind you. Meaning that I'm going to come down like this, come down like this, soften this edge in here. Light up here by the brow, which I'm going to work around. Let's soften that up. Come back down here. Open the lid. Work around that little light in the eye. Work around this light. Pick back up here before it dries. This side I'm not too concerned about because I got the eye breaking the shape. 